Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna see how to use Zazzle Print On Demand Store or how to start a successful Zazzle Print On Store. If you're looking for a way to turn your creativity into profit, setting up Zazzle a Print On Demand Store might just be the answer you're looking for. Zazzle is one of the most popular print on demand platforms, allowing you to create and sell custom products without the need for any upfront investment or inventory. In this step by step guide, we'll walk you through the process of setting up your very own Zazzle store. Let's start setting up your Zazzle print on demand, but now we gotta know what Zazzle is. Zazzle is an online marketplace that allows designers and customers to create and customize a wide range of products. The platform enables users to design their own products, such as clothing, accessories, home decor, and more. By adding personalized images, text, or artwork, customers can browse through a vast selection of pre-designed items or create their own unique products. Zazzle operates on a print-on-demand model which means products are created and produced only when an order is placed. This allows for a high level of customization and personalization. The platform also provides a marketplace for independent designers to showcase and sell their creations. The range of products on Zazzle includes items like t-shirts, mugs, phone cases, invitations, business cards, and many other customizable goods. Users can choose from a variety of designs or upload their own to create truly unique items. The step one of setting up your Zazzle print-on-demand store is to create one. Simply go to the Zazzle website and click on the Sell on Zazzle button. From there, you'll be prompted to create an account, which you can do by either linking an existing show, an existing social media account, or creating a new one. Step 2. Choose your niche. When choosing a niche, it's important to consider your interests, passions, and expertise. You'll be more likely to create high-quality content that your target audience will love if you're passionate about the topic. It's also important to choose a niche that has a large enough audience to generate sales. Here are a few tips for choosing a niche for your Zazzle print-on-demand store. Think about your interests and passions. What are you passionate about? What do you know a lot about? These are great starting points for choosing a niche. Do some research on the market. Once you've chosen a few potential niches, do some research to see how big the market is and how much the competition there is. Consider your target audience. Who are you trying to reach with your product? What are they, their interests and needs? Choose a niche that you're excited about. This will make the process of creating and marketing your products much more enjoyable. Step 3. Choose your store name and URL. Once you've created your account, it's time to choose your store name and URL. Your store name is the name that will appear on your storefront, and your URL is the web address that customers will use to find it. Make sure to choose a name that's unique and memorable and a URL that's easy to remember and relevant to your brand. Step 4. Create your first product. Now it's time to create your first product. Zazzle offers a wide range of customizable products, including t-shirts, mugs, and phone cases. Choose a product that you're interested in and that you think your target audience will be interested in as well. Once you've chosen your product, Use the Zazzle design tools to customize it with your own artwork or design. Canva or Vista Create are great graphic design tools to start creating your print-on-demand designs. Step 5. Set your royalty. Zazzle allows you to set your own royalty rate, which is the percentage of each sale that you'll receive. The default rate is 5% but you can set your rate anywhere between 5 and 99%. Keep in mind that the higher royalty rates will result in higher prices for your products, so make sure to find a balance that works for both you and your customers. 
Step 6. Publish your product. Once you've customized your product and set your royalty rate, it's time to publish it on your store. Make sure to give your product a descriptive title and add relevant tags to help customers find it. You can also choose to add a product description and additional images to showcase your product and entire customers to make a purchase. Step 7. Set up your payment information. Now that your store is up and your designs are uploaded, it's time to set your payment method so you can start making sales. To do this, click on the My Account tab on the top right corner of the Zazzle Helm page and then click on Payment Information from the drop-down menu. Here, you'll need to fill out your payment details, including your name, address, and banking information. Zazzle offers a variety of payment options including PayPal, bank transfer, and paper check. Choose the one that's most convenient for you and follow the on-screen instructions to set it up. 8. Promote your store Now that your store is live, it's time to start getting the word out. Zazzle offers a variety of marketing tools and resources to help you get your store in front of potential customers. Some effective ways to promote your store include sharing your store on social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. Creating a blog or website to showcase your products and drive traffic to your store. In order to encourage customers to buy, you could offer discounts and promotions. Step 9. Fulfillment and Shipping When a customer makes a purchase from your Zazzle store, Zazzle takes care of the printing, shipping, and handling of the product. You receive your royalty for each sale, and Zazzle will handle any customer service inquiries or issues that may arise. Now that you have know the process of creating a Zazzle print-on-demand store, I am going to give you 10 tips to boost your Zazzle shop's visibility. 1. Spread the word on social media. It's time to become a social butterfly. Share your Zazzle products on platforms like Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter. Don't be shy. Let your creativity take center stage, engage with your audience, use relevant hashtags, and watch your visibility soar. 2. Rock your product descriptions. Words matter. Zazzlepreneurs craft compelling and informative product descriptions that capture your customers' attentions. Atta Add or attach a dash of personality, highlight the unique features, and don't forget to sprinkle in those all-important keywords. It's a winning recipe. 3. Embrace the power of SEO. Ah, the magical world of search engine optimization. Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. Research relevant keywords for your niche using the resources provided on the Zazzlepreneur course for Zazzle creators and strategically incorporate incorporate them into your product titles, tags, and descriptions. Watch as the search engines give you a little wink and push your shop higher in the ranking. 4. Collaborate with your buddies. Two heads are better than one, right? Reach out to fellow Zazzler creators or bloggers in your niche and propose a collaboration. It could be a guest blog post using win-win affiliate offer by tapping into their audience you'll unlock a treasure trove of new potential customers. 5. Keep an eye on Zazzle's sales. Subscribe to Zazzle's affiliate newsletter for latest and upcoming sales so you can plan your promotions in advance. Drive customers to your shop using these sales prominently displayed on created pins on Pinterest. 6. Review the course extra. Check out the course extra which gives you the edge on getting your store and products featured on Zazzle. 7. Optimize your shop's categories. Don't let your products get lost in the digital labyrinth. Organize your shop into relevant categories that make navigations a breeze for your customers. A well-structured shop is like a well-stocked store. People love exploring and finding hidden gems. I haven't keep up with them this myself over the years, so I have another strategy. My Zazzle profile is my shop font and my collections act as the categories within the search function. If you have a lot of shops, as I do, 
this could be the best strategy, ideally, though you'll start on the right foot. 8. Maximize the use of your collections. Play matchmaker with your own creations. Ensure all related products within all your listings are added to collections, showcasing how they can be used together. 9. Cross promote. Ensure the social media links on your Zazzle shop profiles are complete and up to date. Directing customers to your blog is essential so that you can create a fan base. 10. Keep involving and innovating. Don't rest on your laurels. Always be ready to embrace new trends and experiment with your with fresh ideas. And there you have it. In conclusion, setting up a Zazzle print-on-demand store can be a lucrative opportunity for anyone looking to monetize their creativity without the need for upfront investments or inventory. The flexibility of Zazzle's platform extends to the ability to set your own royalty rate, giving you control over earnings. By balancing your royalty rate with competitive pricing, you can ensure a manually beneficial arrangement for yourself and your customers. By following the steps outlined in this tutorial and leveraging Zazzle's user-friendly platform, you can establish and manage your own successful print-on-demand store. With your creativity and Zazzle's support, you can turn your passion into profit while delighting customers with unique, customized products. And that's it guys. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if this video was helpful for you, and I will see you on the next one.